اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو مسٹر ایم کے کین یو آسک کین یو ٹیک اور کین یو آسک یور وائف ٹو گیو یو سم تھنگ فرام حق مہر نو یو کانٹ آسک But uh, when she decided to give you some part, you have to take without fear. Okay, so if he herself gives something, then you can take, otherwise you can't take. Mr. Tanko, yeah. what will yeah. you do with the property and the wealth of the orphans under your guardianship? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, with the property of the property and wealth funds protect it and keep it so when they grow and they have intelligence and wisdom then over to them sorry again repeat the answer i said with the property of the orphans what i will do is i will protect it So they grow when they reach an age of maturity with intelligence, then I will then hand it over to them. Correct answer. Mr. MK, can we take wage or service charges for protecting the wealth and property of the orphan? No, we can't take any charges. But we have to protect him. we can take charges okay but it is not recommended okay yeah. yeah we can take wage and we can take service charges for protecting the wealth and property of the orphan but it should be our last option when we are too poor then we will take it otherwise we will not take any wage or service charges okay okay next student does the poor people and orphan children have any share in the inheritance inheritance in the they are relatives or any person so what is your answer for my answer no but uh, uh, in in the relatives you can take something from from them it is recommended to give something to poor people and orphan children from your inheritance okay for yeah. example yeah. your father dies and when the property and wealth of the father will be divided it is recommended yeah. to give something from that to poor people and orphan children as well but it is not necessary okay it is recommended but it is not necessary mr mk do you have a notebook yes i have auz billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillah arrahman arrahim read this number 8 number 8 auz billahi minash shaitanir rajeem بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم and when the relatives and the orphans and the al-masakin are present at the time of division give out of the prophet and speak to them words read the number 9 also Can you hear me? I think you have some internet problem. So now we will start. We need to start uh, number 10, okay? Now we read this. I should read. Yes, number 10. Okay. Verily, those who 
and justly eat the property of off. They eat up holy fire into their bellies, and they will be burnt in the blazing fire. Okay. So basically, this is a warning for those who unjustly eat up the property of orphans. So basically, yeah. they are they are eating the fire into their bellies, and they will be burnt in the hell fire. Yeah. Okay. Now read the number eleven. Number eleven. Reads, Allah commands you as regards your children in her to the male a portion that of two females if they are only daughters more their share is test of the inheritance if only her share is half for parents uh, take a pause here okay so here, first thing we <clears throat> come to know that the male a portion equal to that of two females. So the ratio between male and females, uh, son and daughter in the property is two ratio one. No. Okay. So we we'll write a question here. What is the ratio? What is the ratio? What is the ratio between the sun share and daughters share in the property? What is the ratio between the son's share and the daughter's share in the property? So the answer is the ratio is two ratio one. The ratio is two ratio one. Okay, so Mr. Tanko, what is the answer mm. for the first question? The ratio is two is to one. Two ratio one. So basically the son will get two shares and the daughter will get one share, okay? Yeah. Between the son's share and the daughter's share in the inheritance. So, if you write it this way, then the ratio will become one is to two. No, no. First two, because uh, here in the question, two, son is mentioned first. So, this means yes. his share is two. Then the daughter. The son says two. Oh, okay. Okay. It's two. Okay. okay. Two ratio one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Then. Uh, if someone has only daughters, no son. If if someone has only, only daughters, daughters, then their share is two thirds of the inheritance. We write the question: What about those who have? only daughters what about those uh, what about the inheritance of those what about the inheritance of those who have only daughters or who all have only daughters. Where will we write? The yeah. daughters will get 
two third of the or their share is two third of the inheritance. Their share okay. is two third of the inheritance. The answer is their share is two third of the inheritance. Mm -hmm. Nice. Which practical example is let's suppose a person has total wealth of around uh, nine nine hundred dollars. Then okay. two third mean we will divide it with three. Uh, three. Three threes are nine zero three hundred. Then three hundred multiply two six hundred. So six hundred dollars will be divided among the daughters okay no. so hundred dollars will be divided among the daughters equally so this is the example for it okay Inshallah. so next what if someone has only one daughter what about the inheritance of the one who has only one daughter this question what about the inheritance of those who have only one one daughter what about the inheritance of those who only have one daughter the answer is if only one her share is half then so the answer is she will get half of the inheritance the answer is she will get half of the inheritance half spelling is h a l f half she will get half of the inheritance Okay, now Mr. MK, read this from here for parents. Okay, sir. sorry, the credit was finished, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Allah command you no, as a guard for parents. For parents, a uh, sixty share of all inheritance to each, if the deceased left the children, if no children and the parents are the only heirs, the mother has a third. If he, uh, the deceased left the brothers or sisters, the mother has six. The distribution in all cases is after the payment of legacies. He may have bequeathed or debt. Okay. You know, no or wait. debt. No, wait. For parents, a sixth share of inheritance to each if the deceased left children. So. We we'll write this thing as well. Will the parents of the deceased who has children? Will the parents of the deceased will get any share 
in the inheritance here i will put the bracket so the question is will the parents of the diseased deceased will get any share from the inheritance so the answer is they will get each each parent will get each parent will get one sixth of the inheritance the answer is each parent will get one sixth of inheritance each parent will get one sixth of inheritance okay <clears throat> mr tanko what is the answer for question number 3 question number 3 what about the inheritance of those who only have one daughter those who have only one daughter the daughter will have one i to third sorry third no those who have only one daughter will have half of the of the inheritance half share of the inheritance okay did you write the answer okay. yes please okay and number 4 will the parents of the deceased who has children will get any share in the inheritance yes please they will have one sixth each will have one sixth of the inheritance okay one sixth of the inheritance so let's mm -hmm. suppose how many children do you have me yes hey, i'm not i don't have a child i'm not married yet okay may allah give you One, two, three, and four wives. Okay. Um, yeah, be, so, me. <laughs> so let's suppose you have a total property of around twelve hundred dollars. Okay. After your death, this thing is left. You have around two sons, two daughters, and of course, one father and one mother. Hmm. on the basis of what we have studied so far okay. is this that each parent will get 1/6 of your inheritance now okay no. so first we will take this part out of this inheritance so what is the 1/6 of 1200 so 1/6 1200 divided by 6 6 Six twos are two hundred. So this means each father will get two hundred dollars and your mother will get two hundred dollars. So four hundred is taken out. Now we have left around eight hundred. Eight hundred. So you have two sons and two daughters. Let's suppose first son is A, second son is B, and the first daughter is Y, and second daughter is Z. So we will take a ratio two ratio two ratio one ratio one. No. This is the ratio between their shares out of this eight hundred dollar. Do you know how to calculate the ratio? The ratio. Yes. So we will calculate it. This is total two plus two is equal to six. So the sun, yeah. the share of the sun is. Two divided by six multiply eight hundred. Similarly, wow. the sun share of the B is two divided by six multiply eight hundred. Share of the Y is one divided one. by six multiply eight hundred. Z share is one divided by six multiply eight hundred. Okay. In this wow. way, they need to calculate. 
their inheritance share okay no hmm. does anyone has any question i have a, yeah i have a question yes ask now the question is um what of if the disease is having only one child a son one son okay same thing if first the share of the parents will be taken out okay after mm. that whatever will left uh, of course your wife has a share in it we will study it in, right now inshallah so okay. at the moment we did not study the share of wife that's why i did not put the name of your wife here okay okay let's suppose yeah, the, that, hmm. the reason why i asked the question is you yes. have given that of the daughter if the disease having only one daughter yes so she will get the half daughter. of the property and the other property, will yeah. get their share and the son will get the uh, whatever is left he will get it okay okay Okay, so now if no children, then the parents are the only here, then the mother has third. If the deceased left brother or sister, then the mother has sixth. So here we have studied one more thing. Let's suppose a person has died mm. and he has no children but he has parents only. Then in that case, the mother has one third of the share. And if the disease has left some brothers or sister, then the mother will have one sixth of the share. Okay. So you better write another question. What is the share of the parents of disease who has no children? Who has no children? What is the share of the parents of the diseased? Deceased who has no children? In that case... Okay. The mother will one. get one third. Yes. The mother will get one third. Okay. And uh -huh. if the deceased has brothers or sisters, then the mother will get one sixth. Okay. So the whole answer, listen the whole answer again. If the deceased does not has any brothers or sister, then the mother will get one third. But if the deceased has brothers, then the mother will get one sixth of the no. Mr. Kazim. Can you hear us? Mr. MK. Yes, sir. What is the answer for question number four? Uh, if, uh, if, if the deceased be of no children, the parents will go to one third of the inheritance but if the deceased has no children and there is a brothers or sisters the mother can get one sixth of the inheritance and what if he has brothers or sister 
brothers or sister. Yeah. If he does not have brother or sister, then he will get she or she will get one third. If he has okay. brothers, then she will get one sixth. Okay, so this is the difference. And then the next thing is after the payment of legacies, he may have bequeathed or debt. So basically, these are the kind of statements uh, given by the deceased. For example, he say that give this amount to someone as charity or maybe as a gift. So first we need to give those things. Similarly, if the deceased has the law, loan on him or her, first the loan will be given. What is the main condition that we need to fulfill before dividing the inheritance? What, what is the main condition that we need to fulfill before dividing the inheritance. So first we must pay the debt. Then we must pay the legacies. After that, we can divide the inheritance. First, we must pay his debt. Then we must pay his legacies. After that, we can pay the legacies. After that, we can divide the inheritance. Mr. Tenko, what is the answer for this? Uh, number six, right? Yes. And the answer is we must pay his debts or legacies before we divide the remaining inheritance. Okay, correct. So let's suppose a person has died whose name is Tenko, then first we will pay the debt that he has taken from other people. After that, we will divide his inheritance, okay? Okay. Now, the last thing is very important, which is often seen in this world. Okay, Mr. Tenko, Mr. Anyone read this? You know not which of them whether your parents or your children are nearest to you in benefit. These fixed shares are ordained by Allah and Allah is ever all knower, all wise. Okay, so here we will write can a uh, can Onto the internet. Can a person give some of some someone from? Today I have something Yes. Can a person give one of the inheritors more 
share in inheritance a person give one of the inheritors more share in the inheritance because of his likeness or dislikeness can a person give one of one of the inheritors inheritors more share in the inheritance what is happening to the internet again and again okay write it yourself can a person give one of the inheritance it inheritors more share in the inheritance because of his likeness or dislikeness the answer is no the answer is absolutely not because law of inheritance is ordained by allah almighty we cannot make any changes to it listen the whole answer again no nobody or simple answer is absolutely not absolutely not because allah has ordained the law of inheritance mr mk what is the answer for the last question first read the question as well can a person give a give one of the inheritors more share in the inheritance the answer is no because allah has ordained the share of the inheritance what if someone dislike one of his children or maybe he dislike one of his wives so in that situation can he increase the share of other one no okay we cannot make any changes to the law of yeah. inheritance okay yeah. so we will stop here and next time inshallah we will continue anybody any question see you all next time inshallah ma salama and you both send me your answers on whatsapp okay okay hurry up send me your answers